Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial on the Local Government Scenes solution. Local Government Scenes is a collection of ArcGIS Pro projects that can be used to create and publish a 3D community or city-based scene. Local Government Scenes are organized in different levels of detail and derived from 2D operational data managed by a department or agency within local government. Input data required are building footprints and LiDAR, and if the point density of your LiDAR is more than 3 feet or 1 meter, we recommend using the basic Local Government Scene project. The point density is less than three feet or one meter, use the schematic local government scene project. And once you've ran through the schematic local government scene project, you can use the realistic local government scene project to add more detail to your scene. So let's have a look at the realistic government scene ArcGIS Pro project. The first thing we want to do is we want to add elevation surface to our main elevation surface. Now this is the modified DTM we created in the schematic local government scene workflow. We click on the scene and then point to the elevation source. So in this example you can use the NP underscore DTM uh, surface so your buildings sit nicely on the terrain. So we do this so the buildings don't stick through the surface or overhang the surface. Now, if you haven't done so already, we need to publish this um, elevation surface to ArcGIS online with a portal. And please uh, view the schematic local government scenes video tutorial on how to do this. Next step is we want to publish our LOD3 buildings. We can reuse our LOD2 buildings and add textures to them. Now, the textures that come with the example are quite high in resolution. Um, for performance reasons, we do not want to apply the high resolution texture to all buildings. So what we can do is we can select certain buildings and set what we call a texture reduction factor for them. So in this case, we're selecting the center buildings and set the texture reduction factor to one, which means original textures and all the others to 32, which is heavily reduced. And then we can apply a city engine rule package to our LOD2 buildings and we're going to apply the textures. And you'll notice that for the center buildings, the one we set the texture reduction factor of 1 for will get nice crisp high resolution textures and for all the others um, they're quite blurry. And we're doing this for performance reasons, especially on a lower end workstation or laptop it's quite handy to reduce textures wherever you can. So these ones here are nice crisp and high resolution and if we go to the outer lying buildings you see they're quite blurry. So surrounding buildings works really nice to just reduce them and just have high resolution textures for the areas that you need it for. Now typically you might have already other LOD3 buildings uh, and we want to add them to the scene as well. So simply point to the multi-patch feature class and load it into your project and you see now that we have overlapping features and we want to get rid of those. Um, so what we can do is we can mask the layers in one layer with features from another layer. So in this case we want to mask the textured buildings that we created earlier with the ones that we brought in. So the input features are the LED3 buildings And our masking features are, the, in this case, the Naperville CBD features. And you see that um, the overlapping features in the underlying layer um, disappear. Now we're simply setting a definition query so the features are not deleted. And then the next step is to publish our LOD3 buildings to ArcGIS Online and to Portal. And again, have a look at the schematic local government scene video tutorial on how to do this. Our final step is to publish realistic trees. In Again, in our schematic local government scene workflow, we extracted tree points from the LiDAR. And now we can use those points to create realistic trees. And go to add preset, select realistic trees, and point to the 
point feature class that was created in, in the previous workflow. Then you can set the tree type, uh, you can set the height attribute, the default values work pretty well. And there we have our realistic trees in our scene. Now we want to publish these trees as well. Um, you can publish them to Portal directly from this workflow. If you want to publish them to ArcGIS Online, make sure you share uh, the web scene, or the scene as a web scene in its entirety. You can do this under the Share tab. Then we go to ArcGIS Online. Here we go, create a new scene, Let's give it a title, tags, and a summary. And we're going to search for the out of these three layers that we want. So that's our modified elevation, our realistic trees, and our LOD3 buildings. And what you notice here is that the buildings have lots of geometry, lots of polygons. So you have to keep in mind, the more geometry you're loading in, the longer the loading time and the slower the performance will be. So be careful with the number of um, highly detailed buildings and also with the number of realistic trees, just to make sure you get good performance. And that's it. We've created our realistic scene. Thank you.